keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a two-way diamond slasher, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like of the video puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you a noted game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So, first and foremost, left or right-handed, doesn't really matter. Um, You can go point guard, shooting guard, small forward um that doesn't matter either just make sure you're 6'8 213 pounds with a maxed out wingspan okay um now what we're gonna do down here in the physicals you are 6'8 so you're very limited on the badges that you can get so you just want to go 81 because that will give you the speed booster on silver and then you want to go 75 because that will give you blow buys on silver along with triple strike on gold and triple strike plays a very important factor for the taller builds we're gonna go 63 strength that will give you the fearless finisher on silver but physical handles on silver also we're also gonna go 82 on the vert to get those elite um two foot contact dunk animations and then we're gonna go 95 on the stamina okay so pretty self-explanatory there now when it comes up here you know we're doing nothing changes here we're going 80 on the driving layup layup time is very good this year so you just want to make sure you have your layup timing on now you can have your layup meter on or off, but if you have your layup meter off also, with your layup timing on, you get a 20% boost. Um, but so most people, they still keep their layup meter on with just layup timing on, that's still good. You still get the pro touch boost there, all right? But you still get slithery, um, fearless finisher and acrobat and bunny on silver. You get aerial wizard, scooper, float game, giant slayer, spin cycle on gold uh, with two step on gold also, okay? But the big one here is the driving dunk, going all the way up to 94 on the driving dunk, okay? Going 94 on the driving dunk, the big ones here, as you see now, you get Posterizer on gold, you get Slithery on Hall of Fame, Precision Dunker on gold, Area Wizard on gold, Bunny Spin Cycle Two-Step on Hall of Fame, and Whistle is on silver. Whistle is the most broken badge in this game, so if you can theoretically go to 95, right, to get Whistle on gold, you could, but I just couldn't find the attributes to do it, but 95 is also a good opportunity to try to get cheesy and to take advantage of the whistle badge okay we're going 45 on the standing dunk to get those basic standing dunk animations it just makes sense to get it it's just really really good um dunking standing dunks are just really good this year so it just makes sense to equip it right really don't want to mess your build up by you know having a 44 standing dunk when you go 45 you can equip all the standing dunk um the basic standing dunk animations okay so 45 right then we're going to go on a three-point shot we're going 77 on a three-point shot um 77 is more than enough we know this already i have my um high flyer build that i've been cooking with since day one it has a 77 i just dropped a three-point low three-point shooting video so if you haven't if you can't find a good basis for a low three ball which again to me is 77 lower then um check out that video i dropped this week um and you, you should be able to get it i gave you three jump shots in there so one of them got to be good enough for you okay um then we're gonna go 72 on the mid range that will give you the mini position on silver so again you have silver and bronze badges on the shooting but we all know as a slasher you can't have a high three ball anyway or shooting anyway you won't be called a slasher all right so um regardless this should be more than enough to be able to shoot and hit shots consistently um and then we get our free throw at 80 in this case, it's important to at least have an 80 free throw. Um, well, if you're playing rec, it is. But if you're not, then drop it down. But because you're probably going to be getting a lot of opportunities at the free throw line, especially as a slasher, you go to the basket a lot. So you will be getting opportunities there. So you probably want to make sure you have a decent free throw. And I feel like 80 is good enough with the silver free points. OK, um, you are diming slasher. So we're all going to go up to 89. This 89 will give you the Halliburton passing style, which is the best passing style in the game. But also, as you see here, you did dimer and relay passer on gold. You get break starter on gold, special delivery on gold, which is huge. But also you get bailout on bronze. So you, you're, you're introduced to getting better to have bailout to pass out of really well. And then of course you get needle threader, which causes stun animations 
between people that are being caught playing in the middle. You know what I'm talking about, trying to play the paint and the three point line at the same time. Hopefully they either make the player model smaller or they make the courts bigger, right? One of the two gotta happen, man, because I feel like I'm tired of feeling like I'm playing in a sardine can on this game, all right? 85 ball handle will give you gold ankle breaker, which again is very important. You also get unpluckable handles for days, physical handles on silver, and you get killer combo. What? Well, let me phrase that. 75, I'm sorry, go 77, and you get the blow buys, hyperdrive, speed booster on silver, along with triple strike on gold. Triple strike causes stun animations, animations from the triple threat. Flick your joystick to the right or left and get that animation. If you hear the crowd go loud, just go ahead and drive right by them or shoot, right? Because that means you got a stun animation, right? Um, <clears throat> You also get the dribble styles of, um, really, again, at 6'8", it would be nice to be able to get Devin Booker, but you can't, right? But I feel like pro dribble animations is the best available. Um, the next best would probably be LeBron James, um, and then you'll probably go with Magic Johnson, then um, Zach Levine, and that type of deal. But again, it's all about preference, right? But the playmaking is there. You get some really good dribble animations out of all this. So again, it's going to be really strong. Um, remember, you are two-way, so we are going to go all the way up to 90 on the perimeter defense 90 perimeter defense gives you something really really good here and that's the reason why i went that high is the hall of fame off ball pass okay um the game is very physical i feel like personally the game's too physical i feel like there has to be toned down a little bit defensively there is no way shape or form um offense should be this far behind on the defense defense is very 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 good this year right um, especially on the my team side on the park side people can f up their builds and stuff but when you play against at the high level like pro-am you really start to see like yo defense is crazy this year right so just keep that in mind you are going to have a strong defensive build here with the 90 perimeter defense you do get silver clamps fast feet and pig dodger they are on silver but again doesn't really matter you got the ankle braces challenger fast feet and workhorse on gold to top it off again very very strong then we're gonna go 85 on the steel, okay? 85 steel is gonna give you glove, interceptor, and right stick ripper on silver. So you have the ability to play on the perimeter, to be aggressive on the perimeter, being able to get those you know, passing lane steals, on ball steals, etc. cetera. Um, I feel like the versatility of this build is obvious just by looking at it. You can play the perimeter well on defense. You can dribble and create high pass accuracy, have the ability to shoot. One thing I always recommend with a 77 three ball and lower is to make sure you get your hot zones and you get your lethal zones on a three point line where you shoot majority of three point shots and also hunt to go into your lethal zone. Know when you're playing in the park or in the rack or wherever that this is my lethal zone here. I really want to shoot here, right? Work into those lethal zones to help you out. There's no way you're missing with a 77 three ball in a lethal zone. It ain't happening. Like you're going to have a very high percentage. And then of course the dunking is going to be extremely well with the two foot elite dunk com, com dunk packages of course you also will have the one and two foot pro so you're cooking with grease with this build and then of course here you have it my nephews and nieces the two-way diamond slasher uh definitely think this is a solid build let me know in the comment section what you think about the build what would you change differently just keep in mind make sure it doesn't change the name other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man. And you know, when I say back soon on the Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.